Stephen Hawking, Great Man, Great Books. Sometimes when we look at the evening sky, observe a shooting star far away, or admire the beauty of the moon, we are overpowered by this idea of our seemingly insignificant existence in the universe. For if we compare our very own presence, or our country, even of our planet, or our galaxy with the universe, it is bewildering that we seem to occupy not even a speck of dust as compared to the vastness of the universe. There is nothing like the contemplation of the universe for making one feel simultaneously awestruck and incredibly insignificant. Many of us are then tempted to delve into the mysteries of this existence to make out some meaning, some significance. Philosophy seems to correspond to our inner being in relation to the world around. We need to turn to science in order to understand our relation with the universe. Even though neither science nor philosophy seems to offer an absolute explanation, just the attempt made to learn both may bring about a more modest outlook towards our existence and empathy towards our fellow beings. But since most of the scientific theories and their explanation are available theoretically in a technical manner, not many of us make an attempt to understand them. With the science book reviews that I do on my blog, my attempt is to promote the amazing books that are written in simple language for the layperson to understand by the brilliant minds. Stephen Hawking was an English theoretical physicist and cosmologist who is considered one of the most brilliant scientists since Albert Einstein. In addition to making huge contributions to physics, Hawking strove to share his discoveries with the general public and his book, A Brief History of Time, was a bestseller. Moreover, Hawking did most of his research while battling a myotrophic lateral sclerosis, which makes his accomplishments even more remarkable. And here is the list of my favorite Stephen Hawking books. The Theory of Everything well, first things first, if you haven't seen the movie, The Theory of Everything, then you have got to watch it. It is based on Hawking's life. In this book, Hawking not only suggests making scientific knowledge simpler enough for everyone so that more people can understand and benefit from it, but also presents to us scientific theories in a very simple way. The work is a compilation of seven lectures delivered by Hawking in which he discusses various theories like theory of relativity, big bang, black hole, quantum theory, quantum gravity and string theory to finally propose a unified theory which might one day be able to take every known theory into account and give us an explanation of the existence of the universe. I will recommend this book to all of those who want to enjoy a cosmological thriller. A Briefer History of Time Have you read Brief History of Time? If yes, did you understand it? Tell me the truth. I did not understand it at all. A Briefer History of Time is easier to understand. I am in awe of Stephen Hawking. The man can actually make you feel about subatomic particles and forces of nature. The book is nothing short of amazing. And my most favorite book by Hawking is Brief Answers to the Big Questions. What do you have? The laws of nature or a self-existent and eternal being that created time and space? The complete absence of destiny or someone to blame for your lousy decisions? The serenity of dust or the afterlife? You've got to be on one side because either you believe or you don't. There is a chance that you are on the border because you have tinges of fear that an omniscient designer is going to notice that you are believing, just in case. And that is one of the big questions that Hawking answers in this book. Is there a God? And there are other big questions that he answers in the book. For example, how did it all begin? Is there other intelligent life in the universe? What is inside a black hole? There was a young lady of white who traveled much faster than light. She departed one day in a relative way and arrived on the previous night. Is time travel possible? How do we shape the future? The best thing about this book is its simplicity. Stephen Hawking is not dealing with simple things here. He's dealing with complexities that he has spent his life researching and pondering over. Yet for all that, he makes it approachable and readable to the everyday reader. It's a book that will make you think and it's a book that will make you appreciate one of the greatest scientists of his generation. Stephen Hawking was such an inspirational man. When he first received his diagnosis, he was ready to give up on life. 
He was ready to abandon his studies as his body slowly diminished. But with the help of a few friends and loved ones, he managed to carry on and complete his work. And to his surprise, he carried on living beyond what he thought was capable. So he made the most of every moment as he pursued over his academic goals. He suffered but persevered. Great man, great life and do read his great books. Happy reading.